be the change you want to see. Catholic Charities, they do it every day. They do it in so many ways. We could just have them on every day for every minute of the day. We probably wouldn't be able to get it all on, but they are with me today. Rachel Van Dyke is here, the Youth Mentoring Program with Catholic Charities, along with Lane Sanders, who's also part of that program. It's so good to see you thank here. You. Thank, thank you. And thank you all for what you do. You have so many uh, different programs and things that you do for the city. And we recently had you on for a different program. But you have the Youth Mentoring Program. And we're going to talk about that today. Talk about what the program does. Yeah, absolutely. I can talk a little generally, and Rachel's great with all the details. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've had the youth mentoring program now for a couple years, maybe three years, four years. Started kind of a little bit right before COVID, so it's been a ride for yeah, sure. Well, I was going to say, well, <laughs> how great to start a program yeah. right before COVID. <laughs> right then. But yeah, so we've had it for a few years. Um, we match. We have two different programs. We match kids one-on-one -on -one, uh, most of the time. Occasionally, we'll do you know uh, siblings together with a mentor. They have a mentor for either six months or a year. Year, they get together, they set goals for what they want to accomplish. Um, sometimes it's kids who have just gotten here, you know, months ago. They need help with their English, with their school, their studies, all of those things. And sometimes it's just to get to know the city. What is there to do in Louisville? What kind of activities can they do? Um, so we work to set goals specifically with them and their mentor. And a lot of times it leads to lifelong friendships where we have mentors that hang out with their mentees long past the time that they're a part of our program. So it's really exciting. So we're talking about refugees. We're talking about little ones, young ones mm -hmm. who are new mm -hmm. uh, to America. Yeah. And um, I, I can only imagine what that feels like mm. to come to a new country because I've, I've been out of the country for vacation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I know I'm coming back home mm -hmm. and, yeah. you know, so I can fiddle around and not know the language, not know where I'm going. It's mm -hmm. not going to be any consequences. Mm -hmm. uh, but, Rachel, how, what mainly do you see the program does for these youth? I would be frightened, I think. Yes. Yes. I think exactly what you're describing, the sort of things that kids feel when they are not only going through adolescence and growing up anyway, but yeah. put yourself in a new country and a new language. Um, and you're New culture, culture and new, and new everything. 100%. So I think first and foremost what the Youth Mentoring Program offers is just like a safe person that you can trust, um, that you can call, that you can count on to help navigate those first things that you come into contact with. Um, whether it's someone who can just help you find you know, a, a good college to apply for or what other different um, resources that we take for granted because we're from Louisville. We know mm -hmm. how to get from one place to another. Um, we just take for granted those kinds of things. But a mentor is someone who they can trust and um, they can be in their life um, for months and like Lane said, often even years after, mm -hmm. their, after their match. So I think that's my favorite thing about the program is the relationship that's built um, in a safe place. Um, that students get to have. Mm -hmm. So there's somebody out there watching now who would be a great mentor <laughs> and they're probably thinking oh that you know oh that sounds great and uh, they just not jumped over the line yet uh, and I know that um, you all are looking for mentors. Where are we? <laughs> well, yeah. But what's that mean? What's that mean to me as a person who, who's going to step over and say, okay, I can do that. What, mm -hmm. what exactly is that going to mean to me? What, what am I giving? Yeah. You. Yeah, I mean, I can say too, when I hear the, w the word mentor, sometimes that carries a lot of weight and a lot of pressure. So I yeah, never because they're thinking to time, uh, money, what am I, what am I sure, giving? Sure, and we definitely make asks of the mentors, but I really want people in the community to know that the most important thing that you can give is your time and your attention to these kids. Um, but specifically what we're looking for is anybody who is 18 or older, living in the Louisville area, um, who really wants to take an active role in keeping Louisville this welcoming city for refugee and immigrants. Um, often not only you meet your mentee, but you meet their family, you learn their culture, you get to hear about their traditions. Um, and we were just talking the other day that it's not only um, a program that enriches the life of this young person, but it definitely enriches the life mm -hmm. of the mentor as well. Yeah. Never, ever, ever, and, and I would bet my life on this, is there ever a time where you can do something for someone else and you don't get 
You may not expect right. it, not looking for it, but you can't do something for somebody else and not get something in return. It just doesn't work that way. Absolutely. Uh, for me to be a mentor, what's the first thing I need to do? So, pretty easy. You can go to the Catholic Charities website, um, and you can, Catholic Charities of Louisville, there's a lot of them out there, um, and you can go on there. There's volunteer applications. You complete a volunteer application, and you can just put down in there that you're interested in mentoring, um, and then you'll be referred to us, mostly to Rachel, and Rachel will contact you with the rest of it. There's some training involved. There's about six hours probably of training involved before you're matched with a mentee, um, just so we can make sure that you're prepared and ready and you know what you need to know. Um, but overall, that's uh, pretty much the, it's pretty easy to get in there, and then once you're a mentor, you can choose which program you want to be in, and each of them have different um, qualifications as far as how many hours you need to do and how and what's long. what's the difference between the programs? So specifically, there's a kind of a younger kids program, so 9 to 17, and that one is for a year long. And then we have our career, college and career um, program, which is for kids 15 to 24. Oh. And so that's more like kids who are looking for what's their career going to be, what do they want to do with their life, where do they want to go to school, do they want to, you know, just kind of all of that, figuring out that life past high school. Mm -hmm. So and that's six months. And that's six months, yeah. Um, is there any story that sticks out in your mind where you know what this mentor program can mean mm -hmm. to a kid. You've seen it work. You know that it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, I can share. I can think of a student who I met just a few months ago, newly arrived from Cuba, super smart, super hardworking, just wanting to continue his education, just continue here and like make a life here in Louisville. And we were able to meet with him and match him with, with a mentor who um, is also Spanish speaking. And they were able to kind of almost have this, uh, I don't know, cross-cultural experience where they were able to share Spanish and English and they've gone to uh, basketball games together and he's able, the mentor is able to share the Louisville with him and um, just to see in a really short amount of time the, that mentee's comfort in speaking English to me um, and the progress that he's, he's made. Um, he's starting class today actually at JCTC. So yeah, okay. um, yeah just seeing, seeing the progress kids make in such a short amount of time um, just with the love and attention from their mentor. Well, it, it is amazing uh, to hear about for sure they need mentors. CCLOU.org, -L -L uh, Catholic Charities is CC, Louisville, LOU.org slash uh, volunteer. Quick question, last one. You don't have to be able to speak a different language, nope. right? Nope. Absolutely not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you <laughs> just got to have the love and the exactly. desire to help. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. There you go. CCLOU.org slash volunteer. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.